at the top of your planning sheet, think of a um, catchy name of your newspaper. So I've put here the SFL Sunday Times. I've set the price at 2 99 because it's a really good quality newspaper. And I've put the date for today's date. Obviously, I am making this ahead of schedule, so your date will be a bit different to mine. You need to think of a really catchy story headline that is going to attract the reader's attention. You might want to use alliteration, where the signs at the start of the word are the same, or you might want to use words like mystery or disappearance that are going to leave the reader wondering what happened to the plane. It's important to remember that when you're writing a newspaper title, you use something called title case. That means that most of the first letters are capitalised. The first W is what, so we need to write about what happened. I've written in my what that a plane has disappeared. Then we need to talk about where the event took place. I've written in mine that the plane disappeared in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. The next W is when. The book was set around the 1950s, so I've just put 1950s, but you can mix that up a bit, maybe you'll put 1954. The next W is who. You need to write about who is involved. I've written in mine a group of schoolboys. The final W is why. We don't really know why the plane crashed, but we do know that the boys were escaping atomic war. It could be that the plane was shot down, or it could be that there was a technical fault. You can create speculation in your article, but you always need to make sure you write it is believed that. You aren't writing fact here, you're just speculating. Now that you've finished the first part of your plan, you can have a go at writing your own lead. Remember to refer to your plan.